Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by. This is Sandy from Color Creatively. And I had a request to show uh, the color by number books and pictures that I've already completed and the ones that I like. Um, so here we go. I'm going to move this stack. This book here, I have three of these binders. And it's all my completed pictures. You can see it's about three inches thick. It's just chocked full. It's so heavy. I have three of these binders. I have been taking pictures out of my Creative Haven books and some other books. And I have been uh, working on them. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I store them here in these plastic sleeves. Okay, at some point I will go through all of my completed pictures with you. But today I am going to just show the color by number that I've done. Um, I've done a lot more, but I've given them away as gifts. Um, and um, let's get to it, okay? Now I'm going to show you my favorite artist first. It's... Um, George Tufexis, and he is with Creative Haven. This is his newest book, and I haven't worked in it yet, but um, these color by number, uh, you have a color chart here. You have an example here, front and back, and the numbers are very small. I don't know. You can't even see them in this camera. The numbers are this, uh, the printing is light. The numbers are small. So when you finish, it looks like, I think, a regular picture. So we're going to go through some of these. And then uh, let me come in closer. As we go through here, I'm going to tell you that, a few things. First of all, because this book has been a collection over the years, I used to never write on the back of the picture what I put, uh, how I did the picture or... Um, what the book was till recently. So I'm going to not be able to tell you exactly uh, other than in the George Tufexis books, I always use colored pencil. Now, I have a video called 10 Tips on How to Do Color by Number, and I will link that at the end of this video or in a card um, I'm not sure where I can link it, but I'm going to link it, so keep your eye out for that if you're interested uh, in that video. Uh, let's go through this. Some of these are George Tufexis. Uh, this is a whole stack here, and some aren't, but I will tell you what they are. This is from George Tufexis, and I did write down what book this is from. This is from By the Sea, and as you can see, you don't see numbers. I mean, if I'm up close, I can see maybe through this light yellow a number there, but it does not distract from the picture. And that's what I like about this. This is my favorite, the Creative Haven, George Tufexis. Okay. Now, and this one I think I wrote on here, By the Sea also. Now, I don't have all these books in front of me. I'm in the process of going through. I'm going to put these aside so that this doesn't interfere with the picture you see. Uh, what I'm going to do in this video is link, link below one or two of his books. And if you follow that link over to Amazon, you can look for another title if you like. You don't have to be interested in that particular book. But um, it, that way it helps my channel. But I'm, I can't list all the books because I don't know all of them. It's been over a period of about uh, since 2015. Okay. So <clears throat> these are just some of the more recent ones that I did. This one it was from um, Spectacular Spring Scenes from George Tufexis. And I really enjoy these color by numbers because when I'm finished, I feel like I have a regular color book page. 
And this one was in Spectacular Spring Scenes also. I believe on these pictures I use Cezanne pencils and Fila pencils the most, if I can remember. This one is from, um, whoops, which one is it? Autumn Inspiration by George Tufexis. And it's just pencil, but it's fun to do and very, very relaxing. Now, this is from um, City Sights by George Tufexis. This one is also City Sights by George Tufexis. Okay, and this one is in City Sights by George Tufexis. I'll hold it so that the glare doesn't bother you or you can see more of the true color. Okay, and this one was in City Sights also by George Tufexis. This one, let's see, Autumn Inspiration. And I just matched the color chart to my pencils as closely as I could. It's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be exact. This is a, the books are printed by a printer. And there, if you try to match your pencil exactly, it's never going to happen. So what you want to do is get as close as you can to the color that they're calling for. Okay, this is the Autumn Inspirations also. And this is a book he has on horses. It's called Horses. Okay. I just use inexpensive hard lead pencils. If you use Prismacolor, you're going to get it mushing all together, smearing. And you're going to sharpen your pencil away. And you have an expensive pencil. So get a harder lead pencil uh, like the Fila or the Cezanne or something of that nature. And you will have a lot of enjoyment. The color is great there's nothing wrong with the color and uh, you if you sharpen them away they're inexpensive versus an expensive pencil uh, don't use your polychromos get a hard leaded um, and that's just my suggestion now you can color with whatever you want but i will let you know that because there's a lot of detail to these pictures you will be sharpening uh, way too much if you have a soft or pencil soft lead okay these are all color by number and these are all by George Tufexis now this one was from a uh, country scenes his book on country scenes and I love the cow in the barn okay this one is country scenes also a water mill. I really, really enjoy this, these pictures. I have a lot of his books, not all of them. Um, I'm going to be doing pretty soon a Creative Haven um, video showing all of my collection, and you'll see them in there. And this is also from the country scenes. By George okay he's coming out with two new books this year I'm getting one of them I don't know about the other one and this one was from uh, glorious gardens there's a lot of flowers in glorious gardens okay Uh, here's Glorious Gardens also. Red Door. 
lots of flowers, a dog. Okay, and this is from Cats. He has a book called Cats. I haven't worked in that too much, and I need to. Um, that'll be a project. Now, this one is also from Cats, but you'll notice the difference. Here I used uh, Staedtler double-tipped water-based markers, and then I went over it. Did I detail it? Um, no, I didn't detail it. I just used the water-based markers. So that is another alternative. Um, you could, these are single-sided and they're perforated, so you could use alcohol markers too. But I do personally like the look, and I like to work uh, with pencil. I mean, that's just me. That's a preference. But if you would like to, you can use your water-based markers too. Okay, and this is, uh, is this one from spectacular spring scenes. I love lighthouses. This is Sea Life. There's a couple books by him on the ocean. Uh, this is George Tufexis again, Creative Haven, Sea Life, and this is Sea Life. Let's see, it goes this way. Sorry. I really enjoy, I can't tell you, I don't have to think about shading, I don't have to think about backgrounds, I don't have to think about anything except getting my pencils out and coloring, and that's what I enjoy. Now that's all that I have colored from him, although um, I'll be coloring some more. Now this is from Creative Haven 2. And this was a color by number. Now you'll notice the spaces here are a lot larger, but it's still lightly printed and the numbers are small. So you still come out with a really nice color book page. I did a watercolor background there. Um, and this is Butterflies by Jan Sovac. And also I used uh, alcohol marker. Okay. Um, so alcohol markers work, <laughs> watercolor works, water base markers work, whatever you care to do. I like the butterflies with the um, alcohol markers, as you can see. And this is by Jan Sovac also from that book, Butterflies. Now, this is from a Creative Haven book. And let me see if I have the name here. Uh, it's called Mandalas by Shayla Kerrigan, and um, I did this mandala by Shayla Kerrigan. The mandala book has got the smallest spaces of all of them, and so uh, I had to use a magnifying glass to color this in. If you have good eyesight, it won't bother you. This is by Shayla Kerrigan also in the mandala book. That's all I've done out of that book. Now, this is from Deborah Muller's book, and it's about springtime. Did I write Spring Awakening? I don't have the book to show you, but I will link it below. I gave the book to my granddaughters um, who loved it, and um, or did I give it to someone else? I gave it away. Um, there's been several people that I've given things to. Okay. Now, these numbers are larger, the lines are darker, but it still comes out looking pretty nice, um, even on the light colors. Okay, Deborah Muller again. Deborah Muller. These are all from her spring book. Spring Awakening. Deborah Muller. And these pictures are from a company called Mindware. I don't know the name of the book. I didn't write it down, did I? Yes, Mystery Mosaics. 
I use Stapler Ergosol pencils on both of these. Uh, this is a different type of color by number. You color in the squares and you leave certain squares uh, white and they're ABC uh, alphabetic alphabet letters, not numbers. But these were a blast to do. And I'm going to go back to my mindware books. I love them. Okay, here's another book from Mindware. And this is um, Travel. And it's uh, used uh, Crayola pencils, believe it or not. Look how vibrant they are. And it was a windmill, so I love it. And this was also with Crayola pencils. And it's from Mindware. These are a, now these have numbers, and you can see the numbers, but still the picture doesn't come out looking bad at all. Comes out looking pretty nice, I think. Okay, just a different type of color by number. And then here we have a double page spread from Mindware, and um, this was from. Um, I didn't write the name of the book down. Travel, I believe. This is the Taj Mahal. And it's a double. Oh, this was so fun to do. I loved doing this double page spread. Okay, the Taj Mahal. And this one is... Um, oh, let's see, what did I write? Landscape. The book is called Landscape. And there's a deer here. When you're coloring them, before you color this, you don't see a lot of the figures or, how, or what's in the picture. It just looks like numbers and shapes. But as you color, it takes on life and a shape. And uh, it, these are just so much fun to do. Okay, Mindware. Travel. And this was Mindware Landscapes. It's of the desert. I live in a desert, so this was sort of um, interesting to do. Okay, there you have it. Okay, folks, let me stack them up here. I will do my best to list what I can below in the comments section or description of this video. And I hope that if you're interested in any of these books, that you will give them a try and follow my link. Um, to Amazon so that I get a small commission and it helps support my channel and it's no cost to you and it'll be a lot of fun. Okay, I'm going to leave you at that. I hope that you enjoyed seeing some of my color by number. I only went through one notebook so I have three big notebooks and I may have some in the others but these were the most recent so I wanted to show them to you. I hope that helps so that you can see the difference between these color by numbers and then the other types I have versus there are some color by numbers where the spaces are real big, the numbers are real dark, and you come out with a puzzle looking piece instead of a picture like this. So I'll let you go. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And until we meet again, happy coloring.